So uh, this is a little overview of some more terrariums. You can see this is starting to get out of hand. <laughs> um, but it's a lot of fun, and I had a lot of materials left over, so I also found a few more jars and thought that I would just uh, see what else I could create. So we'll take a look at a few of these individually and uh, go from there. Whoa. Spinny, spinny. All right. So this is a rather small container that I found at Home Goods, um, and I also had some leftover driftwood and the white polka dot plant there uh, was also left over and not doing too well um, in my just side container of plants that I have. And I thought, well, I need to get this into something more permanent. So I put it in here and it went crazy. So I'm obviously going to have to trim that uh, or move it to a, a more appropriate container. And the idea here was to create a kind of a wall uh, effect with some of the stones I had. And then uh, see what I could do with the driftwood there. So it's okay. This isn't uh, maybe my favorite one that I've done, but uh, it's kind of interesting. And yeah, that's getting cut off there. I gotta trim that a bit. Uh, this one here is a one of the largest ones I've done, and um, probably would not get a jar like this again because of the uh, lettering, which kind of blocks some of the view. But it's still interesting. Uh, this one has a twisty jar on it, a uh, twisty lid. And uh, here again, I was trying to use up some leftover plants that may or may not really go together. And I'm actually not 100% sure what this large plant is because it wasn't labeled. Uh, I have to look that up. But it ended up going a little bit crazy here, and I don't know that that's really the best plant for this jar. So these jars are actually really cool. Um, they make a couple different ones that are squared and then there's round ones. And uh, I managed to find this for a pretty good price. The ferns on the top are from a local park. I kind of lucked out and found, um, I think they're from Valley Forge. Uh, I found some ferns that were really small and hoping that they fill out a bit. And the wood is from a local park that I found looked kind of like an interesting log type shape. And uh, trying to go for kind of a destroyed tree kind of look. Now, unfortunately, you see there's two isopods there and um, I later learned that they had ceased to be and I'm not quite sure they were pretty healthy when I put them in there they were in my isopod culture that I've been keeping very successfully uh, and only a couple days after I put them in here they they didn't make it so I have to investigate this uh, environment here to see what's going on Could be they didn't have enough water since they have gills, I'm not sure. Uh, and this is a pretty large jar and uh, I think it's about nine inches across or so, maybe a little more. And this has a lot of different plants that I got that didn't have names on them when I bought them. I've since learned that the really bright green fluffy one there is an asparagus. Um, variant and the larger greenish bluish one there is Peperomia. I really like the color contrast here. I think this one works reasonably well and this one doesn't have any uh, inhabitants in it yet. So I'm just holding off until I see how the plants do. So thanks for watching.